hi guys and welcome back to homemade by Simo. so i am super excited you guys because spring is just around the corner and as you can see i am already starting things off in my garden i have already you know started working on some things in the garden um, especially with just my winter bulbs because normally you plant them in winter and then they shoot up in um, around springtime or towards the end of um, winter which some of them have already started shooting up and i'm super excited but this is not a video about that so today i am diying a um a pond for my fountain that my mother-in-law gave to me and um i actually wanted this from the moment that i received that fountain and i knew that i wanted to bring it to this space hence the reason why i demolished that other structure that i initially built when we first moved into this home so here i uh, first had to level out the um uh, this spot here and um i'm just using some river sand or rather building sand just to level it out and then throwing in a concrete uh, mix just to make a base for my pond so that's just what i'm um, doing right now and making sure that everything is nice and level um i did get um you know at the end just to be frank with you guys i did get um, a slight flow uh, or not uh, completely balanced especially towards the wall side um but i'm not mad about it i mean it's it's still working as it should um but it's just one of those things that you know if you are not a, a professional if, if 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 someone came to do this for me and i had to pay them i would definitely be like uh -uh, no no but i'm not a professional builder nor am i a professional landscaper so i'm just going with the flow but at the end of the day it uh, it's saving what i initially planned so i am happy with that the fact that i attempted to do it but yeah guys i do hope that you enjoy this video and you do find motivation into tackling something in your garden this spring So it has been a couple of days and my slab here has cured and luckily for me I didn't get any cracks on it and I'm super excited for that and yeah but now the next step was for me to start layering the bricks and I decided not to like you know stick them out on top of one another I felt like it's using so much brick that way so i just decided to stack them up like this you know all the way around just one layer of it i didn't need much because this is not um, a big fountain that i'm gonna be using on the space but yeah guys this is just basically it and um then the next thing was just to fill in those holes where the brick um actually sort of like meets you know at the front it's locked in nicely but at the back it's not so i decided to cover that up and you know just sort of like slightly cover it because uh, i'm not gonna be plastering the outside i'm just gonna be using some type of um uh, brick just to or rather some type of um what do you call this thing um um i will put the name here you guys but yeah and then the only thing that i'm going to plaster is just the inside Hi guys and welcome back to another video gardening video it's nice outside today <clears throat> um 
I just it's not, excuse me guys uh, I just I just finished having a sandwich um so I'm just flushing it down with this but today I want to do the plastering of this on the inside I don't think I will I don't know I don't think I'll plaster on the outside because I want to use some type of um, decorative uh, rig on the outside and um, I will plaster uh, at the top but eventually I will again use the same rig that I will use on the outside one of those edging um, rigs it's it's in gray um, I feel like it would look um, nicer in the long run instead of like painting the um, the pond because I'm building a pond you guys I haven't explained that I just got into the building part so once that I've done you know with the plastering on the inside then I'm gonna be waterproofing it and um, then at the later stage then I'm just gonna um, you know just put the, the brick on the outside that is decorative and the top as well just for edging and making it look um, nice but yeah this is what I'm doing um, today and I don't want this video to be quite long so I'm just gonna get on it and just plaster this leave it and then come back again at a later stage and um, do the waterproofing part the brick on the outside even if I'm using the uh, the pond because this is where I want to put my um, my bigger fountain that I got from my mother-in-law um, I'm gonna drop it in here then at a later stage even if I'm using this pond you know after waterproofing it then most probably it's still gonna look like this you know on the outside and then later again but say yeah but for now, I just want to get to the plastering part. So, yeah. Just a, a quick thing, you guys. This is a DIY. So, if this is something you that you do on the daily, please don't come for me because this is me just trying to um, do up my home. You know, think of things that I can just do. And um, obviously minimize costs in terms of like things that I can afford and I can't afford and things that I can just think on the spots that okay this I can attempt to do this is me attempting to do something that I feel like it's gonna bring me joy and um, make my garden look nice so if you are a landscaper or someone who's into building and say oh this is not perfect and blah 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 just scroll and move on to another one please because I'm trying my best here that's all I just wanted to say.
guys so guys we really have to start that school for now <laughs> hi um hi everyone so today is a sunday and um my fountain is dry you saw when i was doing all the um, waterproofing part but now is the moment of truth i first need to check um, if it's not leaking you know just fill it up with water first but there's like small particles because it's been windy so once that i see that it's not leaking hopefully fingers crossed it doesn't leak and then i can just vacuum out all that um, you know dirty water and put um, in clean water some cool water and then I'm just gonna drop in my um, fountain as well and um, see if it does work. Hopefully it does work. Keeping my fingers crossed. And now that I think of it, I hope I have a pipe for that fountain. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I do have a, what do you call it? Um, the thing that runs. Um, I do have a pump for it. So, and it, it's, it does have pipes inside, so yeah we will see if it doesn't i hope i can be able to fit in just my some of my um green garden pipe you know underneath and connect it we will see but yeah let's first fill in the water and see if that works Alright, so I'm going to leave it at this right now and um, just give it some time and then come back and check around on the outside to see if it does leak. And, but in the meantime, I just want to bring the fountain from the other side of the garden. So, yeah. Okay, so there is no um, leaks on it. That is amazing. But now it is time for me to vacuum all this water out and... Um, I've already brought the fountain to the side and then um, get some water from the pool, dump it in here and see what is next. And please never mind this, I was moving my um, cement and you know how cement is, it gets dusty and yeah. So now it's vacuum, vacuum. Ooh. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, people, I am just waiting for the overflow here. As you can see, the masterpiece is in place, and it looks like something is about to happen on the side. So we just need to wait for just a little bit. And hopefully it doesn't overflow all to one side. Um, but <laughs> it means like it looks like guys, I have to pick it on the other side, like slightly lift it up to sort of like come this side so that it's more um, level, so that the overflow is all over. Okay, you guys, there you can see my fountain is working perfectly. I've got the overflow now and it's making the most beautiful sounds. And unfortunately, it's already like um, late. So, most probably, I'll get, you know, um, a video tomorrow just showing only the fountain, not me. But yeah, thank you so very much for being here once again and supporting this channel, my channel. And um, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.